yes guys welcome to another episode of our tutorial and today we'll be learning how to create this thought effect in photoshop so if you're new here kindly subscribe and give me like on this on this video so let's go so first of all you place in your image from uh, whatever wherever you're going to download from place your image and then you have to increase the size so right click first of all rasterize the layer and you hold ctrl plus t to increase the size increase the size and right click on the image and flip horizontal so that you can have it to position the other way to turn the other way around and afterwards the next thing you have to do is you have to create a new page okay convert to smart convert to smart layer and don't mind me i'm using the voiceover so convert to smart layer and then um you have to create a solid color Click on solid color from that angle and create a solid color. Make sure it's um, a color of the background that you want. Make sure it's a color of the background. So you have to group now. You have to merge both layers. So you select both layers and right click. Then you click on convert to smart object. Afterwards, we have to create another page that looks like this. So you press Ctrl and N, create a new page that is similar with this one that you just created so afterwards unlock your layer background click on your rectangle tool draw a rectangle make sure your rectangle is big enough just like the size you are seeing if you can't find fill your color fill in a gradient color um it, just in case you cannot find your gradients um this um potter that dashboard that part click on the shape to use find your color filler at the top here sorry i'm fast just find a way to catch up then from here you change your color setting to one minus 180 then afterwards hold shift and alternate then click and drag just keep, keep clicking and dragging it would be duplicating you'll be duplicating the layers hold shift and alternate if you are using a windows then just keep dragging dragging click drag click drag click drag then you'll be duplicating every um of that rectangle shape that you have drawn so just keep doing that sorry guys sorry i'm fast um on the next video i'll make sure to re I'll, I'll explain very well and be very slow with it so afterwards what you have to do now is to save this um file that you have done to a particular folder mine i'll be saving it to documents I have a separate folder okay I'm creating a new folder for that and I'm going to name it patterns okay pattern open so I'll name it part name it pattern click on save and then let's go back to our original design so what I we're going to do now is to add the effect click on filter filter gallery and let's zoom out zoom out from your the small angle at the bottom then you click on distort click on glass then you see this part click on that small icon there it says load pattern and then you see that automatically your pattern opens automatically then click on pattern click on open and boom it has already loaded now you might want to follow my ratios i have eight six and then 60 at the bottom so you might want to follow my ratios 8 6 and 60 but you can play around it just feel free to play around it and this is you've gotten the effect already now if you see you remember we converted to smart object and there is a smart filter at the bottom click on that smart filter at the bottom of your layer then go to your brush tool your brush tool you can find it there. if you can't find it use the b just press b it will come up then afterwards make sure your set your hardness to 100 percent and Increase the brush size to whatever size you are comfortable with. Make sure your brush layer is black. You can see that there is a small um, angle tool that you can use to adjust it. Then you paint your picture. Just paint. Just click and drag. Paint anywhere. The part where you want to erase. Just paint it and you've gotten the effect. You've gotten the effect. Thank you for watching till the end. If you are new, please subscribe subscribe like follow um, you can follow me on instagram and on x wherever you're watching from please follow
This course is for you. Click on the link in my bio to register and I'll see you in the next video.